So I'm here today at the Academy to talk to a group of academics, medical students, uh, as part of the Academy in partnership with the Wellcome Trust on the INSPIRE programme. Undergraduate medicine is a, is a really long programme and when you train and you finish in medicine you'll do it for the next 40 years and it's brilliant, there's no, I think there's no better career than clinical medicine. But at some point you need to keep asking questions for your own benefit and also for the benefit of your patients because we need to, what we do today in medicine can't be what we do 10 or 20 years from now and it'll be young people that drive that change. So inspiring young medical students, inspiring them to think about research as part of their career I think is absolutely critical. There's a need to give people the space to step out of that, which is a really tough degree, and have the chance to sort of dream a little bit about what, not what they have to do, but what they might do. And I think if you can inspire a few people to do that, then I think it will open up a whole new career for them. For the last 18 years, I've been steeped in research and I've been seeing patients twice a day on a ward round. You can combine a career in research and in clinical medicine. You can do both together and actually I think that's the most exciting uh, career to have. Uh, you, clinical medicine without research has just lost something for me and vice versa. Research without contact with patients uh, also has lost something. Try and combine them and you'll have a perfect career. I guess the sort of pivotal moment in my own career was as an undergraduate, I took a year off medicine to study with somebody, somebody who was looking at the effect of vitamin A on how a chick limb bud develops, absolutely divorced from anything to do with medicine. And she just showed you, showed me, that medicine could be exciting, fun, risk taking, and I didn't have to remember 158 causes of an ingrowing toenail. I could actually dream a little bit about what to do. It was just an inspirational moment in my career which said, you can do more. Having that sort of individual that tells you, stretch yourself, dream a bit, that's what you need. You need to see opportunities and then you need to just grasp them and go for it. So one of the key is to have somebody, and I had a series of brilliant, brilliant mentors when I was younger, who just put opportunities in front of you. And I think that's the key. Have the contacts, get in touch with them. Don't be frightened because you're a 21 year old at medical school and you're not sure what to do. Because there are loads of people out there who want to inspire and want to open up opportunities. So don't stop yourself, just get in touch and uh, good people will point you in the right direction. Through my career, just at pivotal points, I seem to come across somebody that just showed you a different path to take that I probably wouldn't have come up with myself. And, it, and when you meet those people, they really do turn a light on in your career and, and you just need to follow some of their advice. I think probably one of the best partnerships we have is with the Academy of Medical Sciences. They, they, they provide a fresh voice, they provide a different voice, and that's different to ours. And working together just allows us, uh, allows the Wellcome Trust to achieve far, far more than we would have achieved on our own. And, and I think the Inspire program, and actually there are other programs that we do with, uh, for, junior, for, for clinical le lecturers starting grants. The work we do with the Academy has, has actually changed the world, I think, actually. <laughs>